Keeping the promise. Going in. Last one. Field in line. We wait on the light. Clock of the course. Looking over the track to make sure it is clear for racing. When he has decided that, he'll switch his light on. The starter will have a look at it. And then he'll send them off for the Emancipation Day trophy. We're all set. They're off for the Emancipation Day trophy. Fear starts. Skipping Sue comes out with her head in front. Classic bow pressing early as they go flashing past the sixth. Major Meyer on the rail, overtaken by the Grey Circle Party. The Gummer racing out wide. These are just about four and a half lengths off the lead. Skipping Boy tracks them a further length and a piece back as they run past the five. And the trailer is keeping the promise. Running toward the half mile. Skipping Sue out in front. She's gone on now by a length. Classic Bo trying to stay with her down against the rail. But Skipping Sue accelerates on the lead and opens up a length and three parts at the 7.16th. It's held over Classic Bo. So Kapati urged now to get closer. Just three lengths off that lead. The Gummer racing in behind in the red. Skipping Boy now beginning to progress wide. But still has five lengths to find. Major Meyer under a strong drive against the fence. And forget keeping the promise who needs help. Coming into the lane in the Emancipation Day Trophy, a quarter of a mile to go, the Grey Soka Party points. Here's the governor asked to charge up toward the extreme outside, skipping boy, Major Maya moving in between horses, way over on the far rail, that's classic bow, they're inside the final furlong, it's the governor who sticks his head in front of a Soka Party. The governor being urged and pushed out inside the final 16th, beginning to slip away from Soka Party and the rest. The governor wins the Emancipation Day Trophy. Soka Party second, classic bow third. Third, Major Maya looks to be fourth over Skipping Boy fifth. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of today's fifth, the Emancipation Day Trophy, five, the Gummer. Five-year-old Bay Gelding by He's the Real Thing, executive profile by Dispersal. Bread and Own, Winston Kong. Trained Wayne Costa, the second win on the card for jockey Shane Ellis. Second, three, Soka Party. Third, two, Classic Bow. Fourth, one, Major Maya. Running time, 1,300 meters, one minute, 20 and one. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention called to the winner's enclosure. It's for the presentation of the Emancipation Day Trophy, kindly donated by Kimanis Track Limited in recognition of the celebration of Emancipation Day 2011. Emancipation Day is celebrated in Jamaica on the 1st of August to commemorate the proclamation for abolition of slavery in Jamaica, effective August 1838. Making the presentation, Mr. Raphael Gordon, director, Caymanis Track Limited. He makes it to Mr. Winston Kong, owner of the winner, the Gummer. Also in the party, the winning trainer, Wayne Costa. Result now official. First five, the Gummer. $118 to win, 52 to place. Second three, Soka Party, 56. Third two, Classic Bow, 46. Fourth one, Major Maya. The trifecta, $207. Exacta, 588. Quinella 382, W event 574, four winning triples, $28,502.